What is going on guys? It is the Phantom Michael and I'm bringing you the Phantom Michael wants to battle tag video for 2020. Bird Keeper Toby came up with it and we are going to be doing it here today. So we have a group of questions that we have to answer and then we're going to go ahead and tag some people in it. So question number one, why did you choose your YouTube name? Um, so I'm the Phantom Michael for those new people who are watching. Um, I chose my name because I have a interest in the supernatural ghost stuff is really interesting to me. I've never been on a legitimate ghost hunt. I've been on a lot of haunted tours, but I can never take it seriously just because I, I don't really know if I believe in that stuff. So that is why, and I'm not going to lie, I am a huge fan of the Phantom of the Opera, so that might also kind of coexist with that. So that is why my name is The Phantom Michael. Uh, question number two we have right here, and it is, um, what is your favorite Pokemon game? So I started off fully um, understanding Pokemon when Gen 3 came out. Um, I played Gen 1 and Gen 2, and I really enjoyed those games, but I was too young to really understand the game. So I think that's why those two aren't my favorite, even though they were technically my first games. Um, Gen 4 was the game that I really understood and really started to enjoy Pokemon. Um, so I think Gen 4 is going to steal it for me. Um, I should do a tier list video of uh, my favorite Pokemon games in order, but uh, I'd have to say at Gen 4 is probably number one for me, to be honest with you. Um, I love Gen 1. Um, I'd call myself a Gen 1-er just because I, I was there when the games, you know, came out, but um, Gen 4 is probably where I'm at. Um, the next question we have is... What is your favorite evil team? My favorite evil team is Team Rocket. Um, they're not world domination. They're not, um, let's destroy the planet because people are bad. They're not, hey, you guys suck, so I'm going to kill everybody like Lysander or somebody like that. They are legitimate. Um, I'm going to rob you. I'm going to sell your stuff. I'm going to make money for myself. So they're, I, okay, they're, there might be, but they're not like super world domination. They're like, hey, let's make a lot of money. And like live like kings, whatever. So, uh, I think Team Rocket, they're like legit gangsters, and I like it. So, um, the next one we're gonna talk about what should your viewers expect from you this year? Um, lately, it is the second month of the new year, and I have been doing a lot of giveaways. I have been doing a lot of Pokemon breeding and giving them away. I've been doing several more live streams. Um, expect a lot of collabs. I think this year my main cha channel focus is going to be giving back to my viewers. So expect a lot of giveaways, expect a lot of collabs, um, some live streams, a lot of interaction with me. So yeah, that is what we have for this year. Why did you start the YouTube channel? Okay, so I was in high school, freshman year, when YouTube legitimately dropped and became a thing. And I've always had a super interest in it and I've always wanted to do stuff um I did a little bit when it first started but never took it seriously um this channel is about three three years old so we've been here for a little bit and this is a hobby for me and I do it to meet new people have fun playing some video games um that is my main reason so I kind of started this just to kind of have an escape, I guess, something to relieve stress, making these videos, putting out these content and trying to look good for you guys has been my main drive. Um, but it is a really fun hobby that I have. So that is why I think I started the channel. Um, number six, someone with a similar or less subscribers than you that your audience would enjoy. Um, I'm going to tell you the people that I enjoy. Um, I enjoy the heck out of some Palette University. I watch every episode that Gavin drops. Love me some Palette University. I I am a diehard fanboy over that. Every time, I think it's so cool that he can take his college degree and combine it with his love for Pokemon and make something really unique and really cool. So, shout outs to Palette University. That is an awesome, awesome channel. If you like science stuff and interesting biology facts, um, 
archaeology, that is your guy that you need to go check out, Pallet University. Um, the next one that I'm really, thank you guys are sleeping on, Elf of the Wind. Elf of the Wind makes some awesome videos. Um, he doesn't do Pokemon solely. He does a lot of different things. But the dude's editing skills are out of this world, and they are super funny. So you have got to check out Elf of the Wind. Um, Goki Gamer is another one of those guys that people, um, very, very underrated. Go check out some of his stuff. He does a lot of live streams on Twitch. Um, awesome Geo. Go check him out. Another cool guy. Um, I don't want to sleep on anybody, but those are the... Those are right now some of the guys that I feel aren't getting enough attention that need some. So go check those guys out. Um, now it is to the portion of the video who we're going to tag. We got three people we're going to tag. I think I'm going to tag four. Um, first one, of course, is my Pokemon partner, DJ Spinda. Um, go check him out. I probably couldn't do this YouTube thing without him. He was the best man at my wedding. Great guy, my best friend. Go check out his stuff. Um, the next one I would say has got to be, um, a new up and coming YouTuber, Rudy Patuti. Um, go check him out. He just did this really, really awesome, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield mono lock versus, uh, Rudy was using a mono electric type team and his versus partner was using a mono fighting type team. Super sick stuff. You guys got to go check that out. That stuff was insane, dude. I love that idea. I love that they did that. Um, I want to watch more. Not going to lie. I do want to see more of him. Um, the third person I want to tag is an old veteran that comes and goes. His name is Cool Trainer Crow. I'm sure most of you know who he is. He pops in and out whenever he feels like it. And whenever he is able and has time to give to the community, he comes in and drops a really cool series a really brand new playthrough and it is awesome and it is fun and i am always there so cool trainer crow i am shooting you with this tag um the final person i'm going to tag is a new person that i recently started watching she was doing a live stream um a soul link and her name is cat goblin go check her out um really entertaining stuff and her soul link she does is being live streamed, so it's really cool to be there live for soul link. I know how stressful a soul link is. As DJ Spinda, we are nail biting the entire time we play through ours, so doing it live for you guys has got to be nerve wracking because in a soul link you are not only relying on your partner, but you are also relying on yourself. So taking that in in a live stream and trying to interact with you guys and trying not to be distracted by a battle is intense. So. That is what I have for the Phantom Michael Wants to Battle 2020 tag video. If you guys enjoyed this, please smash that like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. Oh, almost forgot. We hit 400 subscribers. So thank you guys all so, so much. Be sure to check out some of the other giveaways, though. Um, we're going to keep going from here. It's only going to go up. So thank you guys so much. I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here. I will see you guys in the next one.